meaning if you just look at Prop 4 uh, in Florida, of course, that was a law that was passed by the voters yeah. that will restore the voting rights to the formerly incarcerated. It passed by a huge margin on November 6th. But guess what? The Republican Secretary of State in Florida, Kenneth De uh, Detchner, and the outgoing Republican governor, Rick Scott, they want to delay implementation of the law. Mm -hmm. So the Republican-controlled legislature can be consulted. They're doing this because there are 1.4 million people who now are going to have the right to vote, including many African Americans. Mm -hmm. So the question is this, uh, Reverend McCoy, I'll start with you. What the hell? This thing... <laughs> Reverend McCoy, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, Reverend McCoy, what the hell? This thing was passed by Republicans and Democrats. Yep. It was to change the state constitution. The point of this referendum is to take it out of the hands of the Republican legislature, where they have a supermajority. So now all of a sudden, let's consult the legislature. Again, this is ignoring the will of the people. I agree. Um, it's one of those things, that you, every situation you put, whether it's Wisconsin, North Carolina, Florida, that you've talked about today, all of those are real serious issues that I think need to be addressed. So I'm, and I'm not one, backing there's one key it. thing that's go, consistent. There's one key word. And you're going to say Republicans. Now, Michigan, <laughs> Florida, Wisconsin, North Carolina. <laughs> right. The GOP. Right. But the GOP is not a monolithic. So there are people in the GOP that I think are very concerned about the issue. The point that people what that? were able. Yeah, right. Right. Uh, you you, you got to work you, 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 They're not in the Florida legislature right, yeah, yeah. where they're trying to legalize voter suppression. Well, they helped the will pass the, the bill. I mean, you and, they, and they actually helped they understand <laughs> that people could that were incarcerated now have their rights restored but to be able to put it in there. what are you consulting the Republican uh, state uh, Senate for in Florida? <laughs> what do they have to consult about? Whether there's 1.4 million, we're going to let them vote or not? Or can we do something before the Democrats take over? This is legalized voter suppression by the Republicans. It makes no sense. And I'm going to tell you, Roland, in North Carolina... Two district attorneys in, in Baden County and the neighboring county, right, have, are both investigating this. And if they make an arrest, I think it'll send a message, not just in, uh, not in North Carolina, but elsewhere, that whether you're a Democrat or, or, or Republican, that district attorneys are certainly going to be investigating and prosecuting real voter suppression here. Well, we got to have the integrity in our judicial system as well as, our, I mean, our election system. And when those guys investigate and if our election system is wrong, and if it's fraudulent, it needs to be eliminated. What, and we but, but see what what what, 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 what concerns me. Okay. Everybody stop. Everybody. All right, everybody. You mean everybody? Everybody. <laughs> oh, everybody. he's from Texas. Everybody. He's from Texas. Everybody he's from Texas. Everybody like from D.C. For but I do want to say something about this, though. It, hold on, Cleo, you're going to say something, but here's the thing. <laughs> Ten oh. years. Ten years, yeah. Desmond Mead worked to get this on the ballot Yep. I'm in Florida right now, in St. Petersburg, Florida, for 10 years. Yep. It passed. It yep. needed to get 60% of the votes in the state. Not a majority, right. 60%. It exceeded 65%. Mm -hmm. The point of changing the state constitution is to take it out of the hands of the legislature. Yeah, so, exactly. Cleo, I'm just confused. Yeah, exactly. What the hell is there to consult the Republican legislature for no, the voters have decided. Well, at the risk of being extremely redundant in terms of what I see on the show all the time, there you go again being logical and breaking things down based on material facts. But these resistant <laughs> people don't care nothing about all of that. They, they don't care. And, 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 and getting back to, um, well, I want to just say to you, Reverend, that a perpetual disingenuousness that I keep seeing is with black Republicans saying, well, I disagree. I disagree, but it's like nothing but lip service. You disagree. Well, you said that you disagree with the corruption. You disagree with the. Um... I don't want to see corruption. Do you? Well, you said you, you you just a moment ago you just said you disagree with something. That meaning, they... meaning I disagree with fraudulent activity. Exactly, and I'm saying that what I hear is people similar to what you just did disagreeing, but doing nothing beyond the verbal announcement of disagreement. Well, I, 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 well, the no, no, no. Party no, that's, that's the is, assumption. Uh, it's no, difficult no, no. to swallow. But, but see, that's the assumption sometimes. We we like to assume that just because somebody verbalizes something, they do nothing afterwards. I disagree on that issue okay, because so what have you done I could about do something voter afterwards. suppression in Florida or Milwaukee or North Carolina. Or what are you going to do?
tell us. There we go. Well, what have tell you us done? What are you going to do? Or what you have hold done? Up, because hold on, hold on, hold you're still hold a Republican. Ha-ha. Let, let him answer. <laughs> What's he the just point? did. Listen. He laughed. <laughs> right, 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 because I'm going both of these guys on both sides were ready to, ready to eat me alive on my answer. Because I got listen, it. Give right your answer. after What's that? Go ahead, give your answer. No, I, no, I'm just saying right afterwards, it's, it's very simple to take an action forward, even from tonight, and say, you know what? Let me call a couple people. Let me try to begin to reach out. Let me begin to do some stuff that may help to push this along, because I disagree with some of the activity. Now, on some of the points, there's some back-end stuff that is being worked to make sure that some of these th things do not happen. So, uh, hold, I, on, you know, hold on, hold on, I'm sorry. What, what, what? What are we I'm, talking about? I'm not. I mean, I, 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 what are we talking about? I, I, hold on. No, no. I don't speak in general. Right. When you say that on the back end, that's some stuff working on so the yeah. stuff don't happen. Yeah. What stuff? No, I, I I believe there are a constituency of people. Belief? So so finish your thought, please. Go ahead. Go on, don't sorry. we got another topic? But go ahead. Because <laughs> obviously this is not a winnable issue. Because I'm sitting here almost with you guys saying, yeah, I agree. The fraudulent activity should be done. In North Carolina, it's not right. Uh, understanding a little bit about Mark Harris, understanding about our constituency and network within that state of North Carolina in particular. Uh, no, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Yes, stop, sir. Stop. We done with North Carolina. I'm talking Which about Proposition going... 4 in Florida. in Florida. All right, there you go. Well, he brought up North Carolina again. So in Proposition 4 in North Carolina, it should be implemented, but period. What I don't understand about black Republicans is <laughs> you have a Republican Party that's, that endorses fewer people voting, engages in legal voter suppression, and you continue to be a part of that organization, whether you're black, white, yellow, or brown. How do you all engage and embrace this myth of somehow they give you as a black person political power when they do nothing but have policies so, against black America? So hey, hold what, up. What stop, stop. First doing? of all, y'all I recommend you starting topic, another party, and being I, independent, I, I, or come I, I, join stop, us. Stop. I, I, Come join us. Stop. Come join us stop. You get the Democrats. Stop it. Oh, you get no, that, you get no topic. <laughs> Hold up. You get no topic. I'm going to yeah, answer that are. question. I'm going to answer that question before I go on. The same way, Scott, black Democrats continue to be political sharecroppers, the Democratic Party, Come and on. I hold the Democratic Party accountable when it comes yeah. to making sure we're getting our fair share job. You're not alone. Say, I, I, I'm not it's done. Okay, I am not on. done. The same way Demo black Democrats don't say jack and jamming up Nancy Pelosi when it comes to employing black people on okay. Capitol Hill and okay. Chuck right. Schumer on the Senate side. The same way voice. black Democrats don't kick the ass of Democrats when it comes to making sure proper dollars are going to black consultants, uh -oh. black posters, mm. black event planners, black caterers, but, and black uh -oh. folks that way. But when so you the say that, is, that I, makes I'm neither one done. better. You're not I making the not argument done. better. The reality is black Democrats <laughs> and black Republicans should be standing up yeah. for black people in both parties. All right, folks, back to our Roll Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. We transition into the holiday season. This is the time when we start thinking about giving and sharing. Sometimes the best gift to give somebody is an opportunity that could potentially change their lives economically. That's why our friends at Transatlantic Real Estate have created an investment opportunity for the everyday investor. It involves legal marijuana and crowdfunding. No, we ain't trying to give you weed. We're trying to get you to make money off of weed. Now, we all know that legal marijuana has created one of the fastest growing industries in America, a multi-billion dollar industry. We also know that crowdfunding makes it easy to be an early investor to get in on an opportunity. It really is a no-brainer. But it gets even better. Transatlantic real estate is different. They have a business model that is simple to understand. They buy land that supports marijuana grow operations and lease it to licensed high paying tenants. Now, did you hear that? You are investing in the landlord of a licensed marijuana farm in a high growth market. And for a limited time, you can invest as little as $300 up to $10,000 before the company goes public. Now, here's some more good news. They recently extended the offer, which means you still have time if you take action now. Now, keep in mind, you must complete and confirm your application to participate. So be sure to complete the process. Now, look, don't spend all your money over the holidays and end up with, with empty pockets and buying stuff that you're not going to be able to use a year from now. Instead, get a return on your investment. You can also consider making an investment for someone special. Now, how's that for a holiday gift? Yes, you're welcome. To get started, go to MarijuanaStock.org. That's MarijuanaStock.org to get in the game right now. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered.